It was very interesting to see how our house is like our rangelands, but we have some questions. Oh, good. Please, feel free to ask. The idea here is to make sure that we understand and work to ensure we improve our environment and way of life. Ah, thank you. So, you just explained to us um, about the different parts of our boma and uh, how each part represents something different in our environment. Ah, that's correct. Um, the first thing you talked about is the soil and how it's the foundation for not just our boma, but our environment as well. Exactly. I mean, but soil is just soil or mud. What is so special about it? Now, that is exactly where we get it wrong. Soil is very important to us for a number of reasons. Firstly, let's understand what soil is. Soil is made up of millions of tiny pieces all mixed together. These tiny pieces are fragile and must be kept together if they are to support us like we need. Here are some important things to learn. Soils provide a place where plants can grow. As you may have noticed, plants cannot grow in a rocky or hard surface. They need soil that their roots can hold on to. Soil is actually the food for the plants. Soils also provide a home to many small insects and other creatures, which, although small, are extremely important to our environment. It is these small insects which eat dead plants, dead animals and their waste. And when they do this, they make our soil very fertile. This will in turn encourage healthy grass and plants to grow. It is a complete cycle where they all depend on each other to survive. If you remove one part, then the other part suffers. Uh, it is also important to note that healthy soils are very good at absorbing water when it rains, just like sponge. Areas with no soil cannot hold water, which means when it rains, the water rushes over the ground, causing floods, and the water is then lost as it flows away to other areas, leaving our ground at home bare and dry. So, what happens now if we don't do anything to protect our soil? as is happening now? Oh, that's a good question. Well, first we'll start to see the little soil remaining being blown away by the wind as dust. This is a sign that the soil is exposed and not protected by vegetation. And then, when it rains, the damaged soil are easily washed away by floods, leaving behind gullies. Uh, you can see the soil in the floods, as it is the soil which turns the water brown. The main reason why soils become unhealthy is because we treat our plants badly. But what do you mean by treating our plants badly? They're just plants. You see, this is another place where we get it wrong. We are all treating our plants badly every day. This we are doing by overgrazing our livestock. Overgrazing is when we take our livestock to an area and allow them to eat plants or grass completely right down to their roots. And what is wrong? with our livestock eating down the plants, down to their roots? Well, to begin with, the roots are part of the plant which feeds the plant. If they go, then the plant dies. And secondly, the roots are the part of the plant which hold the soil together. Without plants and their roots, the soils can easily be blown away by wind or washed away by rain. And this leaves behind a very hard ground where plants cannot grow. Wow. This in turn will leave us with an area without food for our livestock, forcing us to go further and further in search of grazing lands. That's on point. In short, if we continue to lose our healthy soils, we will fall into a terrible situation where no plants can grow and our land becomes a desert which cannot support any livestock. Remember, Soil is developed over thousands and thousands of years from all the plants and animals dying and their parts mixing into the ground, thanks to the tiny insects and creatures living in there. So when soils are lost, we lose thousands of years of work. And to reverse this will be very hard. Exactly, and to make things worse, only plants that we don't like such as Acacia, Rufficiens, and Opuntia, grow well in this environment and start to take over our rangelands. Um, I think we can now see why the soil we build our house on is so important. It is the foundation of our environment. We now see 
that we must choose to protect and take care of our soil before it's too late. Otherwise, the consequences are too severe. Our rangelands will die and our house will fall.